I've always had a particular interest in, in history, particularly Cherokee history and uh, sustaining and protecting historic sites. Uh, Cherokee Councilman Keith Austin had actually brought this I idea to me uh, some time ago and said we ought to have our own registry. The United States has a registry. We ought to have a registry to help prioritize how we spend our resources and to sort of raise the profile of these sites. So he and I went to work. Uh, we crafted some legislation that I think will make a big difference, uh, a positive difference in our efforts to protect these sites, raise the profile of these sites, and, and uh, we're already getting started. So the draft registry is already in the works. Um, that'll mean for the first time we designate historic sites as Cherokee Nation historic sites and then we'll begin about the business of prioritizing how we fund these sites and protect them. You know a, a decade or so from now I hope we look back and see a uh, historic registry that uh, all Cherokees can celebrate and I think It'll be great if in a decade or two from now we have even more interest both among our people and people that uh, are, are coming in from the outside to visit these historic sites and understand them. More than anything, I think we preserve history because we want to preserve a story that's important to tell. And I think the history of what is now Northeast Oklahoma will be so much better understood and so much richer if we tell the Cherokee part of that story, that we were here before statehood, that we created this great society uh, in this part of the world because we invested in things like a system of justice and education and commerce and a national government uh, and our communities. And there's all sorts of places all over the Cherokee Nation that help tell that story. So I think in a decade or two, if we can tell that story uh, in a more robust, comprehensive way, uh, I think it'll be in part a credit to the Historic Registry Act.